Hello traders, FS Pipcoletti here. Today is Wednesday, October 4th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Yo US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So even though the Yo has been going down pretty strong over the last few months, I still think this is going to end up being an uptrend. I still think it's going to go up and take out these highs, probably make a nice one, two, three, four, and five. So let's take it down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, especially because of the US dollar analysis, I think that this right here is a trend for the wave one. I actually think this is like an A, B, and C for the wave two. We are right at the 38%. Does seem like a potential area for this to win, end a wave two and eventually go up and make a wave three, a wave four, and a wave five, just like I was showing on the monthly time frame. So let's take a look at that on the daily time frame. On the daily time frame is where you can see the lower lows, lower highs that make up this move down. This right here for me is definitely the time frame I'm watching to see the end of a trend. For me, a break of such to the upside is what's going to tell me that this whole trend is over. Until that happens, I am still primarily looking for sorts in a downtrend. So let's take a look at that on the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, I mean, we definitely have a three, four, five shape right here, so it could potentially end a trend. Now, we do have non farm payroll at the end of the week, so I think it's more likely that this is going to probably make another correction. Probably will not take out this high until non farm payroll on Friday. I bet that non farm payroll is going to be a spike reversal, and then it maybe potentially could take out this high, proving that that downtrend is over on the daily time frame and up. So going down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, we definitely have a break of the wave four high right here. So we know for a fact that this downtrend right here is complete. I think this first move up is probably gonna be a wave A. I bet it's gonna make a wave B at some point and then back up again for C. I think it's gonna spend the next couple of days making a crutch and then do one more push down either at the news or prior to the news. And that may be the final attempt to continue the downtrend before we get the break of Strutzer on the daily time frame and up that I was showing before. So don't forget to join my free Discord group. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.